What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the home theater hobbyist. And today I wanna to give you my full review of the latest AirPods from Apple. These are the AirPods third generation. Now they include a few improvements over the previous generation, including better battery life, MagSafe charging, and spatial audio. So I'm gonna talk about that in this review along with sound quality and call quality. So let's get to it. So here I am with the AirPods 3, and I have to admit up front, this is the first time I've spent substantial time with the AirPods because I've tried previous versions and they typically fall out of my ears. But I was excited about these because they have a new design. I tried them in my unboxing video and they do fit. So I'm happy to report that. But I'm also saying that because there may be some things that I go over in this video that if you already own AirPods or you've used them for several years, you're like, why is he going over that? Well, it's because it's new to me. So let's go ahead and let's start off by talking about the design. And I'm gonna start right here with the case. This case is the same white plastic case that you're accustomed to as far as looks is concerned, but it's a little bit wider and a little bit shorter than the previous case. But up front, it's got a little LED indicator here to let you know its status. Around back, it has a little a button right here in the center that you can push to reset it if you, you know, it disconnects or something like that from your phone. But there's a button there. Also, under the skin of this is a magnet because this does wirelessly charge via MagSafe with the magnet or with a Qi charger. On the bottom down here is how you can charge it via wire with a lightning connection. In the box, you get a lightning adapter just like this, and it's actually lightning to USB-C, but you can also use a lightning to USB-A cable to charge this as well. Now, both the AirPods and the case are IPX4 rated, which means they are water and sweat resistance. So you can go through a little bit of rain, but you don't wanna swim with these or anything like that. One of the cool things about these is when you pull these out of the case, a little status notica notification pops up on the phone to give you the battery life of both the case and the AirPods themselves. But as you can see, I just dropped it in my ear and it goes in just that easily. Now, as far as design is concerned, these are very similar to the AirPods Pro uh, in that they have the AirPods Pro design without the rubber tips on the end, but they also have these shorter stems than the second generation, previous generation AirPods. Apple says that these stems are 33% shorter and honestly I think this design looks even better and it feels very good in my ears. They feel light and airy when I put them in. Now there is a flat side on these AirPods and this is how you control things like play pause, answer phone calls, skip backwards, forwards, and also ask for the voice assistant. So overall, I do like this design. They are very similar to the AirPods Pro without the rubber tips, so there's no noise isolation or cancellation or anything like that, but they feel nice and light in your ears. My only thing I wish they had was more colors. I wish you could buy these in different colors other than white, like red, blue, green, pink, black. It'd be nice to be able to personalize. these. I know there's different companies that sell skins you could probably put on these, but it'd be nice if you could get them first party from Apple in other colors colors, but otherwise I think it's a good design. Okay, so now let's talk about a few features of the AirPods. First of all, I'll start with connectivity. These are Bluetooth 5 and they also have Apple's proprietary H1 chip in them. And honestly, I think that H1 chip does a little bit to help establish a much more stable and reliable connection with an iDevice because I can put my phone down here in the room and pretty much walk all over my house and have a really good connection. There's only a few places where I got a little bit of dropout. And with other earbuds, I haven't had that much success. So I do think there's a little bit of Apple magic in here. But again, they are Bluetooth. So as far as I know, they do work with Android devices. Now, Apple claims battery life is six hours of normal use and another five hours with spatial audio with another 24 hours in the case. So you get a total of 30 hours um, if you're using it in normal and then a little bit less with spatial audio. I did do a battery drain test in normal mode and I got somewhere close to six hours. So I think Apple's claims are actually pretty accurate. And as I just mentioned, another feature is spatial audio, which is basically a simulated surround sound format. So you get speakers all the way around you and overhead, very similar to Dolby Atmos. Now, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and a few other services actually do take advantage of spatial audio, and I did try that along with movies, and I'll talk about that a little bit more in the sound quality section. But suffice it to say here that it does work. Along with spatial audio, you also get Apple's proprietary 
head tracking uh, simulation. And what that does is if you're looking at your phone, it keeps everything nice and centered. But as you turn your head to the left or to the right, you're gonna notice that everything kind of shifts one side or the other. And Apple says that they do this because it more simulates loudspeakers in your room. So when you turn your head, your one ear is hearing a little bit more. So you're getting a little bit more in that ear. And that's basically how it works. And again, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the sound quality section. But overall, there are a lot of features in the AirPods 3 and I kind of like it. But one thing I don't like, to be honest, is the fact that there's no, let's say, app for the AirPods that comes along with it. It's nice because it just works, but when you need to kind of do something, it's a little bit harder to find. And what I mean by that is uh, when I first set these up, it had a announce feature so it can announce notifications. And I was like, oh, let's set that up just to see how it works. But then I couldn't figure out how to turn it off. And I finally had to do a web search and it's basically you go into systems notification and you can turn that feature off. But again, if there was a dedicated app for the AirPods or just a dedicated place you could go with everything in there, it'd be a little bit easier to find out. But overall, I do like the features. I just wish it was a little bit cleaner in the settings of how you can address the AirPods. Now let's move on and talk call quality. I recorded a couple of audio samples indoor and out comparing the AirPods 3 to my iPhone. So let's hear those now. What's going on everybody? This is Cody. I am inside doing a call quality test on the AirPods. What's going on everybody? This is Cody. I am inside doing a call quality test on the iPhone. What's going on, everybody? This is Cody. I am outside doing a call quality test on the AirPods. What's going on, everybody? This is Cody. I am outside doing a call quality test on the iPhone. Hopefully you could hear those audio samples. And quite frankly, I was pretty impressed by the call quality coming out of the AirPods 3. Honestly, they sounded pretty close. I mean, there was a little bit more bass to my voice from the phone, but otherwise I was really, really surprised, especially considering I did the same call quality test that I've done on a couple of pairs of earbuds that I've had previously, like the Cambridge Audio Mel Melomania Touch, and those didn't sound quite as good as these AirPods 3 sound from a call quality standpoint. So I've got to give it to the AirPods 3 from a call quality standpoint, they sound really good. Now let's talk about the really big section and that is sound quality. And first and foremost, I like what they've done with these AirPods because I did compare them to the AirPods second generation. My wife has a pair and I listen to some music back to back between the two and these have a noticeable bump in sound quality overall as compared to the previous generation. Uh, the previous generations it sounded just a little bit bright, a bit tinny even because it was actually pretty heavy on the treble. Well, with the AirPods 3, what they've done is they've actually brought up the mids and the bass a bit so you get more definition in the mid range and in the bass department. So it's a much more even response all the way across. And honestly, that makes for a better presentation. My wife tried it as well and she said that these did sound fuller and had a little bit more color. So she was right on there uh, with me on that as well. So I do think that these are a definite improvement over the previous gen uh, earbuds. Now, are these like as good as let's say your loudspeakers or but dedicated, you know, planar magnetics or something like that. No, they're still earbuds. There's still only so much they can do. Bass, I think probably rolls off somewhere around, let's say 50 Hertz or something like that, maybe even 60 Hertz, but it is again, better than the previous generation. And it does sound good compared to other earbuds I've tried. Again, because it's got a little bit better mid range and a little bit better bass response. Now, moving on to spatial audio, like I said earlier, it works. I had these connected to the Apple TV 4K and I watched Foundation on Apple TV Plus and I was surprised by how good of an overall surround sound presence these give. Uh, vocals were nice and centered and things would move in and out of the soundstage as I expected. Now I did try out some stuff in Dolby Atmos or some stuff that had some Dolby Atmos on it and honestly the overheads didn't work as good um, but the surround sound effect actually works pretty well. Now, it doesn't work as good, I'll say, as dedicated speakers or anything like that, but for earbuds, it's actually surprisingly really good. I also tried dynamic head tracking on and off with spatial audio, and it does work. But honestly, I found it to be a bit disorienting, especially when listening to music. So I just went into Control Center and set spatial audio to fixed, which turns the dynamic head tracking off. 
So overall, the sound quality of these is actually pretty impressive. You get nice treble, nice mid-range, and nice bass. Don't expect these to be as good as your dedicated speakers or subwoofer. It's not gonna go that low, right? But for earbuds, in a pinch when you just kind of want to watch something or you just want to listen to some music it definitely works and it is an upgrade over the previous generation okay so now let's talk value these are 179 dollars as i record this here at the end of october in 2021 uh, you can buy the second generation or the previous generation of these for i think 129 and you can get the airpods pro for 249 so there's a range depending on what you want to do if you want to go cheaper go with the previous generation if you want the spatial audio the longer battery life go with this um overall i think that's a pretty competitive price at 180 bucks. I mean, if it was 150, that'd be even better. But considering the technology that you get, I think it's a decent value. So overall, I highly recommend the AirPods 3 from Apple. I think they have great sound quality, excellent call quality, a great design. I wish they had more colors and they have great connectivity to your iDevice. But like I said, as far as I know, they do connect to Android as well. You just don't get as many features. So if you wanna purchase these, the second generation AirPods, because they're still on sale, or the AirPods Pro, use those links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, hit us with the subscribe, and join us on Patreon. We'll talk to you next time.